so I'm just supposed to do whatever you say and listen to your instructions and... Yes, you signed on to this. You told me you wanted happily ever after. If I tell you to take all your money out of the bank and light it on fire... Do it. Pure Food and Wine was the top raw vegan restaurant in the world. It was ahead of its time, and it was a high-end, fine-dining, vegan experience that was a hot spot. Owen Wilson used to just post up in the back and, like, walk through the kitchen. And I'm like, what is this place? <laughs> Sarma was the brand, the raw vegan queen. It was such a great environment to work in. If none of this had ever happened, we'd probably still be working there. Sarma was telling me about a guy that she had been talking to online. There were tons of conspiracy theories about why she married him. Was there some sort of blackmail involved? It was just all very mysterious. Anthony told Sarma she had to perform a series of tests. He promises her that he is going to make Sarma and her dog immortal. It's a complete madness. You know about the meat suit? What is the meat suit? Oh, no. What's the meat suit? I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> Some of the money coming from the restaurant business, it went straight to Anthony's pocket. He tells her, if you don't keep going along, you'll lose everything you ever cared about. Or as if a popular Manhattan vegan restaurant are under arrest, accused of ripping off their workers. I said that I felt like she was stealing from us, and I was fired. Police say junk food led them to the fugitives. When I heard she got caught ordering pizza in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, I got the popcorn out. Like, let's do this. Who cares about their pizza? What happened to the money? What if Sarma's running a scam on him? If that was the con. Makes her look like the vegan Bernie Madoff. 